In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of describe standard costs and how they are used. In typical essay questions and discussion questions, our goal is really to expand on the question. We, we want to write more rather than less because writing more will mean that we're more likely to get to those items that are requested or desired within the answer key for an essay question. And if we write too much, we're not usually penalized for adding things that aren't in the answer key. And if it's a discussion question, then of course, adding to the discussion is how we pick up the most points. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our crunching numbers is my cardio product line. Now, I'm not saying that subscribing to this channel, crunching numbers with us, will make you thin, fit, and healthy or anything. However, it does seem like it worked for her. Just saying. So, you know, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and buy some merchandise. So you can make the world a better place by sharing your accounting instruction exercise routine. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Keeping that in mind then, we have the standard cost. We could start off with the definition of the standard cost and then of course go into how the standard costs would be used. A general definition of the standard cost then is standard costs are preset costs for delivering a product or service under normal conditions. Now, of course, whenever you see a definition such as that, you could then expand on and go into some of those components of the definition. So we have preset costs, meaning they're going to be, in essence, budgeted costs. We kind of think of the standard cost as, in essence, a type of budgeting cost oftentimes being used within the budgeting process. Note that the standard cost might be breaking things down into further components than we might see on a standard type of income statement, budgeted income statement, or contribution margin type of income statement. We're using the standards, which will break things down into more of the components. We also have the term of under normal conditions. So we're considering the standard costs as if normal conditions are happening. In other words, typically we're taking into account uh, this normal kind of delays and things that would happen. In other words, we're not usually using the ideal costs because those would be things that are typically unachievable, but some type of standard cost then if everything being uh, equal, if everything running as it should in a normal condition, then that's what the standard cost would be calculated based on. The standard cost may be used within the budgeting process and of course as a component of that kind of budgeting process and even more detailed in terms of the analysis, it can be used to see what the actual costs are going to be. So we think about the standard cost, what should happen under normal conditions. We run the actual costs and then of course we could do a comparison. That's what we're going to be using this for. We have the standards, we have the actual then we could take a comparison and we could look at some analysis of that comparison. These differences are often called variances. So we would call this some type of variance type analysis. We would look at those variances. There could be favorable and or unfavorable variances. We may concentrate more on the unfavorable variances, although if there's a significant difference, whether it be variable or unvariable, we're going to go into that, that difference and say, hey, why is there a difference? of this significant difference, whichever way it may be. And then of course we use that to improve the process in a normal type of process. You can then go on and expand to how you would use basically the standard costs or what would be the process that be put in place in order to go through the standard uh, kind of a budgeting type of processing process, which would be to set the standards and then to run the actual, um, the actual numbers and then to make a comparison between the standard and the budget analyze the variances and the differences, come up with some reasons for the differences that would be there from that analysis, and then of course plan the news type of variance and or analysis or make any changes to our standards going forward and running through that process again.